Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the first episode of Teacher Sir Riff. The idea with this series is I'm going to interview some of our favourite guitarists, be those Mafrog, Midwest Emo, uh, whatever gravitates towards the niche genre um, that we're talking about on this channel. So for the first episode we have Marcus Menner from the band Standards and he's going to teach us the intro riff to the song Smile, which is an upcoming song on their Fruit Town release which should be released sometime in July. I had a wonderful time catching up with Marcus and I hope you enjoy the conversation and I also hope you enjoy learning the riff. So the first thing I wanted to ask you about, um, before we get to teaching the riff, what was the inspiration? How did you come about with this, uh, the initial idea for the, the intro to this song? Yeah, so it's like, I I uh, wanted to, this, this is like a part of the new album that's gonna come out um, in, in July. And I think like I come out, I had come out with like a couple of like math rock records and I really, really like all the math rock stuff, but I wanted to try to add some new things as well. So kind of keep the tapping, keep like all the cool techniques, but then add like some synths, add some like dancey rock parts, you know? So it was this like sort of experiment. And I'm really happy about how it turned out. And I'm like stoked that you like it as well. Um, but yeah, I, I always think it's cool, especially with guitar music, to start with like the most bare minimum sort of uh, idea. And so when the song starts and it's just those very simple chords, you know, they'll just like, you not only is it like something that you can really catch on to, mm -hmm. but it's kind of like, all right, here's the, here's where we're going to start. Right. And then yeah. we're going to just amp it up and try to just make it crazier and crazier, you know, cause you, you have like this range. I sometimes don't always like, really see the point of just coming right out of the gate with like the craziest thing right because right, yeah. it is captivating but then it's like you set the bar here yes, so you have yeah. nowhere to go you know so it's like i was like all right well i'll just play some chords and then we'll see what we can do from there i, I think that's exactly it like the, like i said like just that just a simple chord progression and then building up upon that sorry that i think that's what made it so captivating and, and so catchy and fr from that as well like going on to the you know the music video because i think it's a perfect pairing with this song and uh, if you if you go well, if you haven't watched the video i suggest you pause this video and go and watch it then come back because it's uh, you know it's fantastic uh, just the fact that you you framed it like in a time frame of a day as well so it begins in the you know the morning right then you have the daytime and then ends to it's evening or nighttime i, I can't remember specifically yeah basically yeah nighttime. so just thinking about the background that to the effort that must have took you know to be there all day and um what was that experience like and how did you come up with the idea uh, for that music video? Yeah, the, the hard part about the video was that it was filmed almost on the top floor of the space that we had rented. And uh, we were doing it on like a bit more of like a limited budget. So we tried to find the hours of the day that we could rent where the time would change the fastest. So I think we started around like three or four and then we were there until like nine. So it really went from like full day okay. to like sunset to nighttime. Mm -hmm. um, but it's funny uh, because I had this idea and it was just sort of a thing where I was like, I think it would be cool to have the performance speak for itself. And it's kind of just going around in a one shot sort of thing. But um, someone actually told us that uh, I, I believe Trico already did that. Like, oh, okay. I, I think yeah, a few bands must have had the idea of the <laughs> the rave right. idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Of course, it's not the most original idea. But I did think it was really cool, where it was almost like one shot, and and it was doing that. But then someone sent that to us, and I was like, oh, okay. Well, I hope no one thinks that I stole this idea or something. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but yeah, it was um, it was super fun to shoot, and we had like a whole setup, like a whole rig, um, which was very new for us because I think we're not really we weren't really this sort of band to do music videos i think it's a right. lot easier when you have like lyrics and like a thematic element this is a little different and so i really wanted to try to make something that was like very emotional and, and energetic and and so i'm happy that that you liked it and it seems like other yeah. people like it well 
I, I think it achieves the, the purpose of the title. It makes you smile. <laughs> to, to sound cool. all cheesy, but when you watch it, yeah, you're like, this is great. Yeah. Like, yeah. So what, what we'll move on to now is to uh, it's, it's, let's go through the introduction of that song. So we're going to go from you know, the beginning up until we get to that like what are the A, B, C section. I think it's C section, right? Yeah, just like um, the first 50 seconds or so, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Because there's a lot to break down just within that <laughs> uh, 50, 50 seconds. Bit. Yeah, to, to, to get through. <laughs> so uh, I think it would be smart to frame it in, yeah, let's do like A, B, and C here. So we'll start with learning the chords in the beginning and then learning the um, the Roschiardo technique. And then sure. we can move on to the, uh, what I say is probably the most challenging part is that, you know, the, the, the two-handed tapping part. Right, um, yeah. the best part. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right then. So um, wh what are the chords in the in the intro section? Well, before we get to that, I'll just want mm. I'll just want to make sure. So, uh, oh, it's, it's in, tuning as well. Yes, yeah. yes. F A C G C E tuning. Um, yep. It's like you know. <laughs> 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 um, the riff. F A yeah the the riff. Um, so yeah, F A C G C E, and then capo two. That's yep. important stuff to to just nail down uh, before. I've got that. It's hiding. Yeah, because because once you get that, now we're in we're in cheater mode, so we can just do. <laughs> Uh, the easiest cheater riffs. So, um, um, yeah, the, the, the cool part is a lot of this, the chords are not hard to play, but what will, will be hard, I think, um, or challenging for some people is the rhythm of it. Yep. So, um, also for context, I don't use a guitar pick. Yep. And okay. when I was it. really learning new techniques a lot more, I ended up learning, like, what you mentioned, the Roschiato. The classical um, technique, right? Yeah, the classical yeah. Uh, sort of uh, finger technique. Um, I'm not actually using all of my fingers for that. I'm just using one finger. Oh, okay. So the one finger I end up using is the middle one. Middle um, finger, yeah. Yeah, which you, usually if you're doing one finger Roscato, it would be with like the index. But I'm using the middle because it's bigger and it just sounds okay. cooler. Yep. So um, the the difficult part um, for the intro is, is playing it that way. So I, I think you can use a pick if you want, but it will make it hard when you go over and do the two-handed tapping. Yeah. If you... If you want the, the authentic, <laughs> you know, yeah. If you want the like the authentic <laughs> sound, you're gonna want to use the finger, the finger, yeah. Okay. So, okay. basically, what I'm doing is I have the Roschiato set up, which is where you know in Roschiato you have your hand over here, like your knuckle, and you're okay. shooting your fingers out like that. Uh, flicking, I guess. Yeah. I'll try, I'll try. Yeah, it's I, the way I think about it is like um, I, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get so many uh, hate comments from like classical guitarists. I'm I'm just like I'm the most fake you know roschiato person but I, then, I did like, i did quickly google this yesterday so <laughs> what what roschiato yeah, was <laughs> yeah I, I yeah we're both fakers but it's okay <laughs> um no it's just that like people take this very seriously understandably there's like a rich tradition behind classical guitar of course and yeah. also you know all the stuff but this is kind of my like diy roschiato so Basically, when you have your fingers out like this, you, you kind of shoot them out, uh, yep. sort of like if you were to do like a Spider-Man like sh web shooter, okay, you're going to do that. That's a good description, but, yeah. Yeah, you're going to shoot your fingers out like one by one. And, you know, luckily you don't need to do this for this riff. All you have to do is just, just do that with your finger. Or your index. Finger. Right. Okay, yeah. So you, you shoot it out and then you come back. So it's like a two-step a two uh, step motion, like... One, two... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I got that. Exactly. Good. And so I'm not really moving my hand either. I'm just like... Uh, okay, so that makes sense with the two strums in the intro now, right? The... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. So so when I end up doing it, I'm, all I'm doing is actually fretting the lowest two strings. So I go... Uh... Just kind of open like that, then two and two. Two and two, yeah. Yep. Yep. And then I go up to four and three, so... So um so we got That's the Perfect. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Forgot exactly. That. And sounds, that. sounds like part. cool like hip hey, hop like <laughs> So yeah, super uh, super cool. So that's we I think that's pretty uh self-explanatory yeah. easy-ish part. Yep. Um the more challenging part is when we take this and we kind of uh, upgrade it, I'd say. Like, we add some more rhythm stuff to the it. The grooves to it, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, yeah and uh, something to note about the rhythm um, is that it's actually going to come back uh, when we do that so that riff later that you were talking about with the tapping. The tapping yeah. So, yep. so paying attention to the rhythm here is going to help you later because later. it's Excellent. basically the yep. same thing. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So yeah. the rhythm here, we end up just switching to like a constant sort of like eighth, like eighth note, I guess like sixteenth note, like. So then, yeah, so that's that's where the practice is going to come into play <laughs> with the yep. raffiato. Um, yeah. And that's the thing about raffiato too, like practicing it too much at a time, it's really going to like hurt your fingers because the way that it works is that we're using like the reverse muscles I got when you. we do yeah. it like this. So like usually when people like pick or they're finger picking, you're picking like this, mm -hmm. but yep. raffiato is the other way. You're you not could, going yeah. this way. Yeah, you're going I, up that way. I can feel that already. You know? Right. Yeah. yeah. So that's my, yeah. this is my disclaimer. Um, <laughs> So that you don't hurt yourself if you're new to this sort of thing. So take Just it slow. Practice it's... in small intervals and work your way up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Otherwise, you will injure yourself. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it isn't the hardest thing to do. It's just more of a practicing it slow so that it really sounds cool when you speed it up. So that's kind of the same thing. It's just those chords with. The constant like sixteenth note, like ticka 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 yeah, sort of thing. It's got such a groove to it. I love that. <laughs> and that's and that's the thing. Like if I had a pick, you know, I'm gonna do something yeah. skinless, and I'm gonna play with a pick. <laughs> oh dear. If you played it with a pick, I feel like <laughs> oh, you dang. wouldn't get that same sound. Like yes. Yeah. Like it sounds like a pick, but then if you use your finger, you get the nail in there, and it really mm -hmm. sounds like to me very cool. All right. Like, very. So that's, <laughs> it's really cool. Like. Seriously, I, 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 that's like I said, just the the progression of this riff and the fact that when we get to the tapping part, you're still keeping that that chord progression as well um, up here. Right. You know, the idea is just evolving, like you said. So let's so yeah, let's do this slowly then, because that's okay. what I can do currently. But, okay, yeah, not sure. Yeah, sure. So um, so we're gonna go the it's the same chord progression essentially, right? Again, right. Um, same notes we're playing as well. So. We'd hit that, duh, duh, and then essentially we're doing this between it then. Yeah, so it's just like. Duh, 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 duh. So you. So um, hammering off as well with these twos. Yeah, it, it's it's kind, kind of, of like yeah. a weird thing because the way that you can that I tried to tab it out was that it's just like when you're not doing this, you're playing the chords again, but it it's kind of impossible mm. to go back to strictly. Yep. you know this between thing it, yeah so you kind of get some like ham like pull-offs in a way so I'll, I'll play it slow and you can kind of see what i'm doing it's, okay. it's not gonna Thanks. be yeah. it's one of those like stylistic sort of things that i think so but okay. it'd be like uh... yeah. like sort of like that or i can do it even slower like Okay, so yeah. there you go. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Get, we're getting exactly. There. I think that the thing is just adding that flare, that like rasciato yeah. flare, because I mean that's the coolest part about it to me is you have this like Spanish like yeah. sort of I flare don't... to it, and that's kind of the interesting thing. Without it sounding super classical or something, it sounds right. Right. Very, yeah. Like, well, it, it's, it, it's pretty far away from classical with the, in sound, right? I mean, <laughs> it sounds classical, but the, the application. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, that's that's really cool. I'm gonna have to work on obviously that. Yeah, but it's, it's and, small yeah. small practice. It really adds up, and um, then once you get that, you can start doing it with other fingers, and then there's so many cool combinations of that that deserves its own video for sure uh, <laughs> right yeah. and okay. then we we stab we stop there right and then there's the little riff there's a little there's like a fill so it's like this yeah, yeah and so i that, i i think of that as like a different guitar it's still me but it's yeah. like a different guitarist because i just pause there and then the little thing plays in the backing track when we play it live but um oh, does it? i just oh, love that okay. little like cool. thing yeah, it's yeah. almost like a little like a vocal hook yeah. or something like that. And then he goes into the main part. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, exactly. All right. And yeah, so this this section's a little weird because you you can play it differently, but the reason that I do it this way 
uh, is twofold. Um, it's a lot easier when you have one hand that's going to be working over here, like pulling off down. Yeah. And you can pull off in a different direction when you're doing chords up here. That's what um, I thought, yeah. Yeah. But also it looks really cool. And so that's the most... <laughs> I don't think people play guitar to not look cool. So you want to look cool. You want to play this riff cool. What, what is the so, percentage of coolness? Is it like practicality versus cool <laughs> showy off showy off it, this is showy off. i would say it's practical and cool <laughs> yeah because yep. yeah there's some things where it's completely impractical and it doesn't look cool well like um yep. if i've learned like a g chord uh you can learn it like this way on the guitar but like yeah, someone showed it to me like this <laughs> you can play it like that that's like that's not cool or practical <laughs> so this is both, and that's why I like it. Like yeah, that, and like so this is going to be a new sort of like yeah. feeling for people that don't really do a lot of first tapping and then two-handed tapping where it's yeah. like two autonomous parts. Mm -hmm. But we're basically doing that part we did earlier. Yeah. And we're just going to do it with one hand. So we're going to pull Flip off. Upside down. Pick up. yeah. Yep. yeah, and then it's going to be easy because we can just kind of like, because the both of the notes that we're playing are right next to each other, so yeah, so uh, that's the thing is with this two-handed riff, I'm gonna try to encourage you to think about it as one part yep. because while we're playing two different parts, it's gonna make it way harder if you learn them separately and then try yeah. to put them together. I, In my experience, I did try that, and yeah, and then I realized just looking at the parts together actually made me it was easier to play. <laughs> that's for right, sure. right, right, right. So, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna give like my interpretation of how to learn it, and then yep. we can. Yep. We'll see, we'll see like i don't i don't think that there's like the best way to to teach it but this will be the way that i think will be the easiest to like digest okay but so that we have this top part and basically we're just going up to the 12th fret or it's the 14th fret, 14th fret yeah, yeah and yeah yeah so we're just tapping 12 pull off 12 pull off, yep. 12, pull off. that was so ugly sounding pull off. and that's basically it um but since we're thinking about 4-4 four, four, Yep. It's a grouping of eight. Yes. So yeah. when we do this, it's two, 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 yep. and then we do repeat it again. Yep. And then, yep. So if you can get that part down, then it's you're you're pretty you're pretty good. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um. So the way that I think about it is basically you're going to play the first part of this riff and this note at the same time, like. Yep. And when you're counting it, you can kind of think about like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Right. That, yeah. And so when you play the chords, um, which are gonna switch to the to the same ones you've already been playing, you're gonna play it on the one and the six beat. Six, yeah. So it's yeah. like yeah. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Or sorry, like one, two, three, four, five, six. six one, two. two So every like first and sixth beat, you're going to play the new chord. So my advice would be to try to get this to a comfortable position. So it's you're not really thinking too hard about playing it. Yes. And then you can switch chords quite easily, and it's gonna look way cooler <laughs> than you are. Like because if you're sitting there thinking about it, then it's gonna be too hard. But it, it looks so cool if you're just like. It's just kind of like da, da 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 da. You just kind of like play it until you feel like you can autopilot it, and then you can start to count out the beats. Yeah, the other hand. yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that, I think that's good. Thinking thinking of it that way. Um, so let, let, let's. So yeah. Um. I like how you sighed before you played it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, like, oh god. <laughs> my, the problem I I have is. Strumming this open while I yeah. tap here. Um, this first tap always ends up being like really quick when it should be. Yeah. So um, I'm, I'm trying to work on that at the moment, but yeah, the, like the yeah, yeah the first doing part. those two at the same time. But once I get past right. that, it's, um, um, There you go. Yeah. 
<laughs> but it's getting no, that's used, good, that's like, good. volume out of them as well. Like right. something I'm not used to doing. That's but... the other thing. It's just a little hard. Is just you kind of have to slam down on it. And I'm pretty lucky with this guitar um, that I have a bit more traction on here. Um, I actually recorded it with my other RCDs right. because I didn't have this yet. Mm-hmm. And it was a bit harder. So you, you sometimes just have to like slam your finger down on it. Like <laughs> with a lot of kind of with the pressure, like it's just because I feel like if I if I hit that hard with this hand it gets too much. But yeah, you really have to like Right. This is the difficulty of the riff. It's it it's like uh maybe easier to play it, but then to make it actually work, like getting the dynamics right, the articulation right, it can be very challenging. So yeah. that's the fun that's the rewarding part about it though. Okay, that, that, that's. <laughs> I, it, it's a really fun riff, and once you get it down, it feels amazing. Because like, I was watching you play, and I was trying to work out where are you changing the the chords in that in in that section, and you make you made you make it sound obvious now, where you count the six and then you know on the one. But when I was learning it, I was like. I was looking at it as like um so like one, two, three, one, two, three. And when I hit this note is where the you know I change right, the exactly. next one. And yeah, then exactly. I pull off and then there'll be those two and then I'd go back to the you know the ne- whatever the next chord was. So like um to clarify like whoops. Yeah, I'd like change when exactly. I hit that note and then pull off. And then you know when I get to the start of the riff again. And once I've noticed that, um, still can't get that bit first, but... <laughs> there you go. Whoops. I'll try and do it your <laughs> speed. <laughs> but that gets seen. It's, it's a little fast. fast. I think yeah. the... Yeah. So it's at tempo, I think. I could do it slow and then maybe speed it up or something. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's end with, with that. I think that would be good okay. instead of watching me try to play it. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's good. It's, it's good. Just, um, it's let, me, let me try it a bit slower and then I'll, I'll try to speed it up. So we have this part. So it sounds really cool, but I think it's cool when the strings are really vibrating together and it creates this like sort of really nice sounding aura of like yep. just feel good vibes it's and like you, a nice yeah you've used some of those really classic songwriting techniques as well like it's you know the guitar on its own and then the, the second or third repeat you know you bring in the electronics again underneath you know so it just varies yeah. that repetition a bit and stuff like that again it's all that you know if you don't know about it but you know if you're not familiar with hearing that but it's a very common thing right of just like stacking and stacking until we get to this break and then we go into like um you, you know the, that that next session right um yeah yeah like it just you know comes down a bit more again for like a kind of a verse kind of feel to a song it's it's wonderful yeah thank you dude yeah <laughs> yeah but um it, it's, it really comes together when you play it like at tempo so i'll, I'll give it a shot okay um yep let's just see. It's always fun. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, yeah, that's... Yeah, I, um, the I was really happy about how that came out, and, like, when I was working on it, it was like, all right, cool. So then we have at least one, like, cool song on the record. So <laughs> whatever happens after this, I have that. Uh, so, uh, so. It's the I was very happy about it. No, no, yeah. no. I, I think it would be, it'd be full of those kind of songs. And, um, you know, I, was, I think last year, you know, when you do, like, your Spotify... Um, yearly roundup kind of thing i think you were like the second um after like delta sleep of what i'd listened to oh that so, year, cool. So. so cool yeah yeah and like i said like i just listened to it most mornings because it was just very upbeat <laughs> you know it got me like when i was having a shower or something like that <laughs> that's a thought for you <laughs> awesome that's yeah that's in, yeah in sure. <laughs> yeah it was one of those things where it just took shape like more and more and it was just like like it is challenging, but I think it's just super rewarding once you get that part. Because there were even times when I was like demoing it, and I was like, I don't really know if I'll be able to like do this. But after some practice, like it comes together, you know, it's it's doable. Um, I just wanted to leave <laughs> yeah. you with. I, I just remembered this morning. Um, like uh, like my 
two youngest were twins that they were both ill so we took them to the to the doctors and um, like my my wife went to pick up their medicine so I took them to the car and I was like I, I wanted to listen to the song again before um, you know we, we did this video so I thought yeah. I'll put it on in the car and see what their reactions are you know they're almost two yeah. years old and um, it's just funny like this really like upbeat you know like dancey kind of music going on yeah. and I both just sat there like <laughs> like, no, no reaction. <laughs> the, the, I, I, I was dancing and trying to get them to react to it, but no, they, they were sick. <laughs> they were they were ill. They were yeah, just yeah. Like, we're, we're, they we're probably were listening to it. They're like, I just want to go home. Like, I just <laughs> want to. <laughs> what is? They're this? like, don't worry, we're gonna get there at some point. <laughs> yeah, thank thanks for joining me today. Really enjoyed this chat. Um, um, is there anything? you would like to plug basically to uh, those listening right now is there any music any stuff that you'd like to promote um yeah we're just we're coming out with a new record so this uh, song and uh, our new single as well that's gonna gonna be out by the time oh. i think by the time this video comes out um it's they're out now and so you can check them out on spotify and uh we'll also be having a pre-order uh uh, with vinyl, um, so you can actually nice. check that out yeah. on uh, on our new label uh, that we're signed to. It's uh, called Black's Bodega, okay. and there's a lot of cool the bands on there. So we have our vinyl out now, and then we're also going to be touring the states. So uh, I know you are in Korea, so you're going to miss it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, um, yeah. we're touring around. Yeah, yeah, that, we'll come. We'll come at some point. That'll yeah, be yeah, cool. I'd, I'd be definitely there. That's for sure. I'll promote it a lot. Yeah, <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> you're the big, biggest crowd. Possible. Like you and the two twins, and you'll be like <laughs> yeah. in the stroller. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, we're gonna be touring uh, with uh, Glacier Veins, and we're gonna be touring all over the states. You can find tour dates for that in our Instagram and our yep. Facebook. Um, cool. And I'll throw those links down below in the description. So go and check that out. Um, if you haven't check the music video out yet yeah, please go and watch that and uh, if you haven't heard the song yet then what are you doing go and go and listen to that too because <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's a lovely song really enjoyed chatting and uh, thanks for watching everyone and thank you very much for um you know sticking around for the rest for the, if you're still here <laughs> you yeah. must be a diehard fan and uh, yeah please learn this track go and have a listen and support uh, standards and marcus menner thank you very much All right see you next time everyone goodbye thanks for having me